screen while the video was playing. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, I'll keep track of the time. I mean, the like, video should keep track of the time itself, but yeah. Anyway, are we ready? Go. Hey, hey, people. Hey, Seth. Oh my god, how did he get all this art of himself hey, hey. like this? Are you tired of the stressful world of modern video games? Do you want something yeah. a little more relaxing? That's well, Call of Duty this Warzone. Isn't the game for you yeah. Because it's been Go. five minutes since you checked the religion tab, and Osiris, to put it lightly, is quite upset. Oh. Better build a dozen shrines and beg forgiveness. Get cursed anyway. Oh. Lose all your crops. Go into an endless that. feedback loop of famine, which leads to emigration, which leads to more famine. Because uh. once you start the cycle, yes. you don't don't have More enough famine. workers to stop it. Go into debt. No, Chrono. No. <laughs> Yay, we're out of money. Oh my God. <laughs> on your debt, go bankrupt. Refuse uh, to give up. Rebuild your finances. And then rip Rebuild your shirt your off. Faith. Rebuild because your why city. the fuck and not? And then learn uh -huh. about the interesting life cycle of grasshoppers, which, at a certain population density, pump huge amounts of serotonin and transform into locusts. Lose. Yeah, they do transform into locusts and cause problems. Uh, like a yeah. plague. Yeah, the plague of locusts. They quite literally eat all the wheat crops. All your crops? Again. Quit the game and swear you'll never play again. Welcome to Pharaoh. Released well, 20 years ago by Impressions Games, Pharaoh 20 is years, considered as one of the most developed, functional, and unforgiving of city builders. So to basically play, not available. Your music. I'm actually no. I think you can buy it on GOG. Music folder and manually oh. play the music on shuffle and repeat because otherwise uh. it's gonna crash in five minutes. Otherwise oh. it runs good <laughs> on because modern it spyware. It minutes. doesn't use many resources, so I can focus my. I'm not CPU surprised it doesn't use many resources. My personal information <laughs> players be like, to play it's the cute as game, fuck. You need no. What the fuck are these? To make a family line, a dynasty to follow and develop across the historical progression dynasty. of the campaign. Uh. From the earliest foundations of civilization on the <laughs> Nile the Valley to the, the triumphant hell? heights of its golden age. It's uh, a lot of fun. It's also deceptively simple and quickly ramps up in... The Egyptians were actually pretty, well, strong people. Eventually, there was originally a lower pharaoh and a higher pharaoh until I think one mm -hmm. conquered the other and they just kind of fuse their kingdoms together and well you get where it goes on from there the dynasty becomes one complexity. the one biggest problem with them is they also yeah. took part in incest uh, yes very true that is a true statement I have done some studying back in high school on the ancient Egyptians you've done some studying on your you know and I'll, that joke is too lar low bar now no, I literally used to read books all the time talking about ancient Egypt. I was going to make an Alabama joke. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> ha ha, very funny. <laughs> Please, oh, home, Alabama. There you go. <laughs> anyway. Until any I know, the joke had makes your city planning ability. No, 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 I was going to make it because... I, th I had to say that because you didn't realize that that's what I was talking about. Yeah are completely wiped out, oh. leaving only a deep-seated feeling of anguish, despair, and incompetence. Don't worry, I've been there. When I mm. built myself but a personal mansion of the two and paid my- kingdoms is what caused uh, Egypt to go, like, kind of uh, get into, like, the more modern Egypt now? Uh, there's a lot of reasons Egypt has had problems, but funny enough, do you know the main reason why Egypt was so stable? Uh, I actually kind of forgot. Uh, because they could predict when the floodplains were going to actually flood. Uh, so they yeah. knew when to plant crops and whatnot. Yeah. Myself a pharaoh's salary, thinking oh. that somehow I outsmarted the Egyptian monetary system. Only oh. later did yeah. I realize I wasn't making money. I was taking money for my own treasury. 
to pay myself until <laughs> I could put it back into my own treasury. My profound economic genius did not go unnoticed because in several months' time, the real pharaoh attacked my city to well save then. my people from extreme retardation. In the beginning, your only concerns well are food, water, and preventing your mud hut from spontaneously combusting. In ancient Egypt, most forms of architecture have a habit of exploding into blazing fireballs what that will eventually consume yeah, the entire apparently. city. <laughs> Historians attribute this to the fact that Egypt is closer to the sun. What As the such, every says? street corner <laughs> requires an architect and a fire station. Because without them, in a few milliseconds, my city will look like this. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, this is a crazy little Teams game. Grow with the people, and you always need more people to run the city. This process is encouraged by the fact that as you satisfy their needs, dwellings okay. will upgrade automatically, both visually and mechanically, as they accommodate wealthier residents. Your reward for a well-managed city is a city that doesn't look like shit. Basically, so, unless city you want to Yeah, it's basically one of the Sims games in a way. You know, yeah. as you grow, people get more wealthy. Yeah, you get the point. Yeah, yeah. Mud huts all day. We need to talk about the essentials of Egyptian life. Ancient Egypt invented many great things, such as crime and oh. punishment. The mark of an advanced civilization is a police station. Unfortunately, oh. Pharaoh was an older game in the series, which still worked on the principle of employers having to manually find their employees. Oh. This means they have to walk out, and if they don't find any housing, they can't access the labor pool. In the oh. residential sector, this is no problem. In the industrial sector, I, I don't have an easy way of saying this, but I am compelled by the mechanics of a game to form a ghetto. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? There's more ethical ways to reach the workforce, but it's far easier and more convenient for me to simply gentrify the population centers. And oh, then. All, what do they have to complain about? Jobs are plentiful. Taxation is fair. And Probably and not, no. Income will be recovered one way or another. Back to the better part of a city. One of the most central parts of life in ancient Egypt was okay. religion. Each true. city recognizes a number yeah, of I saw that. Very true. I saw that bit. Ancient Egypt was religion. Each city... <laughs> I saw Filthy <laughs> Frank on the boat right there. God recognizes a number of different <laughs> gods, and they demand worship. There's obviously yeah. more, but in Pharaoh, you worship... Funny enough, you know the plagues that God sent in the story of Moses? Yes. Yeah. Uh... Each one was basically to prove how much more, or not only to prove, uh, basically to punish the pharaoh, but also prove that he was more powerful than their gods. Because each one is basically yeah. him proving that he's stronger by literally taking out their crops, by taking out their, you know, you get the point. Yeah. Yeah. One Causes of the big sickness. five basically. And uh, then, uh, well, first was the plague of locusts, one. having all the animals die, yeah. usually I think it was, not boss, but I forget the name of the god, but yeah, the one with the the cow head. Osiris? Ra, so what Ta, you're telling Seth. me it was a pissing contest? Not really, because quite literally really. Moses, each time there was a plague, would go to the pharaoh and say, just repeat, release my people and this can all stop. And each time he said no. Yeah. Yeah, the pharaoh kept on refusing, so it just got worse yes, and worse. I send my plague Until the final you. plague. Until the final plague came up and it was like taking the firstborn child. Which was actually the pharaoh's fault because he is the one that decided yep. it. Yep. And yeah. literally to warn the yeah. other Jews so no, so no Jews could die. During that put the blood, put, basically put the ro lamp. and the roses on their front, basically, mm -hmm. so that the angel of death would just pass by them. Yep. That and Bast, which respectively control the flood, the kingdom, pottery, destruction, and oh. secondary toxoplasmosis transmitted by your cat. Make them happy. Well, yeah, <laughs> disease. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You'll get a blessing. That Boss is the god of cats, for city, I know. Unless it's a blessing from Ta. Don't worry, mortal. I've resupplied <laughs> your workshops. Uh, what's that? You don't have a weaver, jeweler, or shipmaker? Well then, 
My Project work here <laughs> is done. Oh, that's a nice empty <laughs> storage yard you have there. I'm going to fill it with clay. <laughs> Appeasing the gods isn't easy. <laughs> You'll need to develop OCD and check the religion tab every few seconds to see how long you have until the next meltdown. Gods oh. have to be honored by throwing <laughs> festivals <laughs> as often <laughs> as physically possible. You see, <laughs> the only way to delay divine oh punishment God. is getting shit-faced and <laughs> drinking copious amounts of alcohol. I think well, the two major gods of ancient Egyptian um, mythology is like Ra, which is like the god of the sun or something he, like that. He is the god of the sun's Anubis. power from Anu and Horus. Anubis is Horus. a god of the death, but he's the god of judgment. Yeah. There's also yeah. uh, Osiris is the main god of the Osiris. death. Of the dead. Yeah. When you Osiris, vomit, that's Osiris smiles. Don't be surprised. Anubis. Ancient Anubis Egyptian is mythology just like is a very colorful. Hear, He's the judger. And I think yeah. that's yeah, best like depicted judgment. in the... Uh, Every single, like, god in the Pantheon pretty much has a female counterpart. I think it's their wife Cyrus or someone. myth. Most of my retelling yeah. comes from the Plutarch account, which has its own issues, but we largely oh, have to piece this all together. Like, Ancient Egyptian... Greek myth mythology? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty much like Zeus just fucks everybody. I mean, mortals mostly, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, the only like of the big three in Greek mythology that's really nice is Hades. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you didn't know he he only has one wife I and he's constantly know. nice to her. I did not know Hades was actually not. Yes, his wife is Priscilla. Oh. The daughter of the, got uh, the daughter of Demeter. I mean, there was oh, one part where he was basically said to Zeus, "Hey, can I basically marry her?" And he says, "Yeah." So he takes her to Hades and is actually pretty nice to her and chill. There's only one time where he's shown to be pissed off when involved with her, and that was because one hero tried to kidnap her. Oh. Okay. So I. So basically, don't piss off Hades, or else you're going to regret it. I mean, yeah, that's what Sisyphus got. Also, to my understanding, uh, Hades made a deal with Demeter that basically she will spend half of her time in the underworld with him, and the other half with her, so we get winter and spring because of that. Yeah. When, when winter comes, it's because uh, she's with Hades and Demeter is sad, and when her daughter hangs out with her, we have spring and summer. Essentially, that's how they play it off in the mythology, to my understanding. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, but yeah, he basically locked up one of the heroes. Like, he invited them in, like, he didn't know what they were planning to do. And then he basically forced a bunch of snakes around him, and those snakes, I'm pretty sure, turned into tender. With him. Yeah. He, yeah. he pretty much, his whole deal is just like, listen, I just want to rule here in peace with my lovely wife. If heroes come, be respectful or not, I'm going to be rude to you because you come into my house and start disrespecting me for no reason whatsoever. You, you come into my house. Funny enough. Disrespect me and my family. Pretty much. Yeah. Funny <laughs> enough, uh, Chrono. The name Cerberus basically means spot. It really? really? Yeah. Yes. yeah, it means spot. He named his dog that. Spot. <laughs> That's awesome, honestly. Just the... Just a three-headed hellish fiend just named Spock. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he basically... Hades is always basically portrayed in some modern media as the evil guy yeah. when he's really not. He's just the guy who's quite literally doing his job down there with along with Thanatos and his wife. Yeah. You know, I've always thought that Cerberus just meant like three heads or something like that because it's a three-headed dog in most mythology... Who yeah. believed that right. words Writing, right? yeah. carried power. So the more negative or unsavory so parts of stories... So think that it's supposed to mean like three-headed or three heads. ...were often never recorded because simply writing them would but manifest the words I, into reality. Is anyway, it goes like this. <laughs> Osiris yeah. rules over Egypt. Set didn't like that. So he Set is on the... From what I know, yeah. Set is the god of darkness and the desert. Which, you know, the desert can be very unforgiving. 
Hefner party, oh, yeah. during which he it's loudly kind of proclaims there's a gift at the end. It's a chest. But <laughs> what did that note say? <laughs> I'm not going back to it because I read Whatever it. fits inside. <laughs> Every guest tries the chest, but none of them fit except Osiris. As he hops into the chest, Set and his goons lock <laughs> him inside, decapitate and dismember him into 42 pieces, and oh. throw him downriver. Osiris's grieving wife, Isis, and his side hoe, Nephis, team up to <laughs> find ho. the missing pieces, <laughs> including his dismembered Nephis. penis. In one version, they find everything except his penis, which has, of course, been devoured by a fish. This may explain the lack of fish in ancient Egyptian diets, probably because, as far as they were concerned, they were dick eaters. <laughs> Isis naturally asked oh, wow. God of Magic. I'm not sure. That if, explains a lot, then. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's an actual thing, but yeah. To make him a new penis instead, that the would, dimensions of which were never stated. At this point, they preserve the body, making him the first mummy. Then uh. Isis posthumously bangs Osiris's undead body and uh, gets knocked up. Uh, However, Osiris is incomplete, so he pieces out and goes on to become king of the afterlife. Isis gives birth to Osiris's son. Horus. In yeah, the meantime, Horus. Set Horus. has usurped control of the kingdom. That is, until Horus grows up and challenges him for the throne of Egypt. It takes <laughs> uh, almost 80 <laughs> years, chair. during which they transform into hippos and bite the shit out of each other. Isis attempts to intervene and harpoon Set, but accidentally stabs her son instead. Uh. In a perfectly natural response to your mom accidentally harpooning yeah. you, Horus decapitates his mother. Oof. Don't worry, it's not fatal, as Foff steps in, slaps the stump, and replaces it with the head of a cow, which is why yeah. Isis is often depicted so. Anyway, we're what? <laughs> 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 Just see what the... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Fable, you're there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, if I remember, Horus is actually the leader of the gods. But, uh, there's like an animal attributed to most of them. Hippos are yeah. actually beings of chaos in uh, Egyptian stuff, which is understandable because hippos are terrifying. They are. Hippos are gods. And uh, to defeat I a hippo asshole. means you defeat chaos, basically. Let me go kill a hippo now. You can't get. Uh, no. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. if I kill Set a hippo, that means I kill assaults chaos. Horus. I mean, we went from dick eating oh. fish to this. Did you really think it would be safe for work just because it's Egypt? Let me give oh. you some context. <laughs> Ancient Egyptians <laughs> believed semen was a very potent substance. I have no words, idea if this is uh, true or not. Poison. Set came I, I inside Horus, which true. made him physically ill and made Set a homosexual. Except uh, no homo, because uh, it's all about power dynamics and mental gymnastics. What? With these people. Horus survives yeah, because he caught what the, the fuck? Semen. With what? Lore. With his hands, of course. I imagine oh, he just, like, uh, slapped it away. Then oh Isis straight up puts Horus's semen on lettuce. Man, don't judge, okay? Find what you the a fuck? mom that cares. Find you a mom that'll help you prank your friend by uh, putting a little extra <laughs> seed what in the his salad fuck? set. Consumes the cum cabbage and gets impregnated by his rival. Set loses the throne of Egypt and Horus takes his rightful place on the throne. Because, okay. uh, well, after eating another dude's nut, getting your own torn off, and tearing out his eyeballs only to proverbially give birth to them once again is uh. kind of a low blow to your reputation. And that is the Osiris myth. And bet the they never hell? teach that shit in schools. It's also relevant because Pharaoh is seen as the physical incarnation of Horus. But back to religion. The gods oh. are fickle. You've got okay. local deities and you've got your patron god. Local deities need temples or they get pissed. If a local deity has more temples than another, the other one gets pissed. If the number of temples for mm. each local deity and the patron god are identical, the patron god gets pissed. Okay. Satisfying the gods is a delicate balance. What the hell? How would you... Okay. The act of wasting all your money on temples, but never spending too. To I don't think you could. Little or too much that they get jealous and burn your city to the ground. Aside from the spiritual need for the faith, your people have a physical need <laughs> for entertainment. This is where okay. being illiterate really hurts. If you haven't read tutorials, you'll know how to place the entertainers, but no idea how to place the venues. If it shows red, that's because your road is wrong. But how do you make it right? Well, as a child, I made every road shape possible until finally one of them snapped in place and became green. Once you've got that down, entertainment okay. is sorted. Look at them. Not a phone in sight. 
Just people living in the moment, dying of malaria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dying. Malaria. People always say, oh, the old times were so much better. We were so more active. People died so very easily back then, and life was so short that they didn't really have time for anything else. Yes, you want your entire workforce to be wiped out yeah. by a plague? Consider That's implementing. Perfect. What? Anyway. Universal health care everywhere except the ghetto. Insurance coverage doesn't no. extend to my work camps because the cheapest cure for malaria is to delete the household. Which is oh. a good time to mention that uh, if you right click on someone. <coughs> oh my stomach. Oh my head. They'll tell you their personal feelings about the city. I can't find um. a place to live. At any given time. I've been kicked out of my home and through no fault of my own. Advance further and your people will demand more. Pottery, beer, recreation, oh. education, a working legal system to complain about the state of police brutality. <laughs> and if you give them enough of these goods and services, they'll turn into nobles. Oh. Say goodbye to half your workforce because these guys don't do heavy labor. But their what? estates are absolutely beautiful. Pharaoh was a very aesthetic game and it still is. Is. You've I got a that. lot of options for beautification, from plazas to gardens to statues. You can choose and rotate by cool. pressing the R key. Primarily, you're going to use them to inflate property values, but there's oh. also another lesser known <laughs> purpose to statues, dealing with wild animals. Oh. Normally, the only response to an animal fatality is police brutality. <laughs> if an animal is not beaten, a citizen gets eaten. However, you can block off predators by surrounding them with several dozen pickle sphinx statues. What the this fuck? only applies to members of the animal kingdom, which doesn't include water demons. Do you oh. know how many police officers it takes to kill one hippopotamus? I tested this. I lose five men <laughs> for every hippo. I could. What the hell? <laughs> I lose five men for every one hippo. Could send in the army, but then they run to water and toggle god mode. I've learned to accept that there's <laughs> nothing I can do about this, except increase the music volume to try and uh, drown out the screaming. <laughs> what the hell is that? Hippos are monsters. They will kill you. They're, they're not nearly as cute as they usually portray in cartoons. Yeah, they're literal beings of chaos. <laughs> I just... With development comes prosperity. Trade is an essential component of any city. And without profitable exports, you're going to run out of money. Don't worry. If this happens, Pharaoh will send you a stimulus check because uh. he's literally printing his own money. I recommend declaring bankruptcy at least once each mission. Hey, it's free money and I'm going to take it. Anyway, each city can only make certain goods. Everything else okay. you're going to have to import. Not only that, but your neighbors and the Pharaoh himself might make requests of your city on paper it's a gift in reality it's an obligation uh. oh you didn't send food when we had a famine then forget about trading because my people are dead you know those blocks of sandstone you never delivered they're still missing from my pyramid and if you don't meet the second deadline your shoulders will be missing ahead even <sighs> with trade there's still the issue of balancing your budget your people have to be paid after all to this uh. end you need to build a palace without a palace your palace cannot be robbed it also allows <laughs> you to make tax collectors tax collectors exist to be shanked in the open street while everyone watches there is essential for your city this game taught me just collect, it's just a repeatedly tax collector got robbed lesson economics is a closed loop all the wages you ever spend you get back through taxation which at nine percent is fair and stable pump it too high and your city will quickly become a ghost town i tested uh. this and unfortunately you can't build a tax prison whereby uh -huh. you lure immigrants into your city with <laughs> low taxation then suddenly pump the tax rate to 25 and <laughs> prevent them from leaving with a double layer thick perimeter of solid stone it turns out the desire to emigrate is so strong that people <laughs> simply phase through walls the reinforcing fuck? the theory that even lower on maslow's hierarchy of needs is the physiological requirement for a human being to evade taxation <laughs> oh god Seth. Oh, fucking hell <sighs> well well you can talk to platy about this he knows all about this huh Right, Fable. What? 
tax evasion. Yes. Yes, yes, it does. Yes, it does. In ancient Egypt was a real powerhouse and uh, evoked a lot of jealousy. I would be too if I lived in a desert. Understandably, what? they're here to take your crops and murder you. Invasions are common, so combat is inevitable. And I'll be real with you, it's not very good. Most oh. of it boils down to how many bodies and planks of wood can I throw at the enemy. That is, until you get chariots, which oh. were considered by many during the time period to be imbalanced pay-to-win bullshit. Oh. Chariots were actually very powerful, yes, for combat back Alternatively, then. Alternatively, you could just pray to set. So, once your enemies reach the map, they'll fall set. to the ground and be recorded as a COVID death. Oh Above my all, god. Egyptian civilization revolved around one thing, building the sickest tombs. Think True. Think of the richest man alive right now in Anno Domini 2020. Now consider that he hasn't even prepared a modest mastaba to serve as his mausoleum. We're not even sure how the Great Pyramids of guys that were built considering how big the stones are and how they did we have no idea how they did it magic it's not magic magic man Oh my god. The injured Egyptians believed that the afterlife was a complicated affair. First you die, then magic. you're judged. They didn't use magic anyway. Yes, they believed it's a complicated but affair. You tell the gods the 42 sins magic. you haven't committed, and your heart is weighed against a feather, known yeah. as mayat or balance. It's all metaphorical. You can't just put mag magic in chat. And essentially, live a bad life, and your heart is devoured. Live a good life, and you get to go on to the field of reeds, magic. where everyone, regardless of status, gets the same patch of farmland. Oh. To put it simply, the field of reeds is a socialist heaven. That's Ugh. why Egyptians often buried food, drink, and other valuables with their dead, because True. you'll need it for the journey. That's why they also got so upset about grave robbers, because, think about it, if you're stealing shit from a pharaoh, you're actually stealing shit he needs in the afterlife. It's like you're playing Gmod survival, but with God. But God's mm. multiplayer session doesn't have anti-cheat. And oh. as you try to chow down a fig, it fucking despawns. So you reach for another. It's it basically to help them across the journey to the land of reeds, more or less, from what I know. Magic. Also, Stop with that. Also, spawns, and now you're naked. Egyptian <laughs> life was as much about living as it was preparing. Yeah, tomb robbing was a very big problem that they, well, always had. For the next one, which is why that's most why, of the later... That's why they started to hide the tombs in the... Uh, in the land of kings will have you preparing your own funeral as you wait literal years for the, the pyramids to the, uh, curses of the pharaoh finish so, construction dude. at this point there's no shame in using cheats the oh. giza pyramids are actually so goddamn big that even cheat codes can't finish them they what can only speed them up luckily the cleopatra holy hell <laughs> expansion has none of that. Thanks to the long-term threat of burglary, you'll be building tombs into the rock instead. Inside, the Valley of Kings. Yeah, the it's Valley really of Kings. Funny enough, there is a whole Yu-Gi-Oh archetype involving the Valley of Kings in Necropolis. More of the same, except some guy called oh. Moses keeps messing yeah. with the RGB settings of your river. And... <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy named Moses. Listen with the RGB. <laughs> that was funny. And will yeah. continue to do so until Pharaoh finally has enough and decides to free the Jews. This game also comes with a surprise. Also, also, if I remember correctly, Seth is actually Jewish. Someone in the comments tell me if I'm wrong or not, but I think Surprisingly he is. functional and intuitive map editor. I even made one myself. With I think a... someone told me that, but I'm not sure. He just put Detroit as the map. <laughs> I saw eternal suffering. Custom <laughs> script that generates crime every month of the year to try oh, and simulate God. the average inner city neighborhood of a new world. As a game what? that's nearly older than most of the people on this platform, it's still got the best soundtrack, the best visuals, and it's the most functional design me, of all city builders. Pharaoh, like the pyramids, was built to last, and I give it my Damn. highest this recommendation. Out, it is by no means what the uh, easy, but all things... Funny enough, do you know how we can translate ancient Egyptian, Chrono? How? Uh, it's actually thanks to Napoleon. He found what was known as the Rosetta Stone. Uh, oh, so that's where that came from. Yes, uh, that's why we have so. That's why we had at one point uh, 
a website called Rosetta Stone about learning languages. Because if you didn't know, in ancient Roman times, back when the pharaohs were still a thing, they had subjects of all different kinds. So they yeah. would obviously have to speak the their commands in different languages. Such as ancient oh, okay. Greek or ancient Latin. <clears throat> we have translations for ancient Latin. Yeah. So we were able to translate the other ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. Things we're doing I are difficult. Napoleon was the one that discovered that. Yeah, he did. And what's the most difficult thing of all? Maintaining <laughs> civilization. What the fuck? No I don't know where he finds these videos. Last. Empires rise and empires fall. And so did Egypt <laughs> to the Roman Empire. Caesar yeah. III is practically a carbon copy of Pharaoh. But hey, Roman religion was pretty much a carbon copy of the Greeks. And uh, I'm going to get to them in the future. On the other oh. hand, they did invent shit posting. It's maybe comforting or humbling. Yeah, that's actually true. We found these in Pompeii. These are actual words written in ancient Greek. <laughs> Weep, you girls. My penis has given you up. Now it <laughs> penetrates men's behinds. Goodbye, wondrous bed. <laughs> Theophilius, don't perform oral sex on girls against the city walls like a dog. <laughs> we two dear men, friends forever, we're here. <laughs> If you want to know our names, they are Gaius and Alus. The one who buggers a fire burns his penis. To I, like that to, no I like the fact that people like to imagine that, that us, uh, history is filled with interesting uh, facts, but humans have always been motivations stupid. Of fellow <laughs> oh, yes. Very much the same. Yes. The only difference is that... Yeah. Yes, they're quite literally graffiti has been always a thing in human society. Yeah. Oh it's only God, we pleasure. seem to have oh gotten God. better at art over time. I love how somebody just drew a fucking guy with a huge ass dick on the wall. That instead of spending your time killing Nubians, you'll be spending yeah. your time killing the oh Scottish. Caesar Free was very progressive for its time, as it accepted the harsh oh, truth that no. you could bring civilization to... Yes, it's a whole thing. It's a crazy old thing, but it's a thing. Britain, but you could never bring Britain to civilization. Unlike Pharaoh, <laughs> most of the messages True. you get are actually animated. The voice oh, acting cool. is way better. If more food doesn't arrive soon, there won't be anyone left to pay any tax. Combat doesn't suck ass, and it actually oh. runs on modern systems. Oh. Despite all this, it is one year older than Pharaoh. So, Crazy. what's the downside? Oh, well, wow. there's no monuments, but on the bright side, there's no monuments. Overall, if you're concerned about hypertension, Caesar Free is the better option. It's not the anxiety-inducing disaster spiral that is Pharaoh, but I also highly recommend it. It's a wonderful game about the greatest of empires. Oh. Hmm. You got through those funds quickly. Try to make these new funds last longer. But like any empire, it too had to collapse. The fall Voice of the Roman acted, Empire though. sent us tumbling yeah. into the Dark Ages, a long period of technological decline where the only video games you have. I do love it when we have like RTSs where it takes place in the dark times where we just have magic and whatnot. Oh my god. And the Xbox logo. Was dark Souls, and it took us <laughs> nearly Souls. a thousand years for humanity. To finally city. recover. If you're interested, GOG uh. isn't selling a bundle. Activision flaked out. So instead, use my link and you get a discount on not only Pharaoh, but also Caesar Free and pretty much every game I've ever sold on GOG. Enjoy. As always, more content to come next year. Merry Christmas. We don't celebrate yeah. Christmas here because uh, we killed bars. Jesus, but don't let what? that stop you. A warm thanks what? to the many members of a Merchant's Guild. I, th <laughs> I think he's talking about him celebrating Hanukkah, so... Funding ...and bankrolling these videos so. for over two years now, which I neither expect nor deserve. But I count mm. my blessings, and I'll try to make Can it I worth your time. One Please thing about take Rome. care of yourselves. So well, somebody phasing through somebody else again. Yeah. Go ahead, Abel. <laughs> Can I just say one thing about ancient Rome? They, they say ancient Rome, they pretty much made a certain flower go, to, go extinct. That would have been very helpful in modern society. Uh, what? Which is... 
I don't remember the name of the flower. It was just basically it was a flower that could help. Uh, for it was basically a natural remedy to. Uh, well, how's this again? It was a natural remedy to help against. Uh, it was a natural remedy for birth control. Basically. Oh. But because, oh. but because, yeah, it was really good too because it actually helped. But due to the fact that Rome's entire policy is we're here for a good time, not a long time. They essentially made the flower go extinct. Imagine Stay if safe. it was still around. And happy holidays. Uh, medical yeah, research be could be, uh, be very useful. useful. It's so, yeah. Just, uh, plan B's. Yeah, just, but it's not extinct because Rome, because ancient Roman people were really stupid. I still can't believe he had to complete this. Holy shit! Like this um, is the Great Pyramid okay. of Giza, and he still hasn't finished it. Like it's going. Even with cheats, he said it still couldn't finish the Pyramid of Giza. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, ain't Plan B like a pill that he must take? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's what I thought it was, probably. Yeah, and the fact is, if we had that flower, I think the uh, medical health of ladies would be a lot better off, but. Yeah. Deep in Rome. When in Rome. Damn you, Rome! One thing I love is uh, someone put a, someone put, uh, it was like an image of a Roman lady and an Egyptian lady with like cat ears on, and they're basically the idea of, well, when you're in Rome, do as the Roman do, and the, like the background is Egypt, so if you're in Egypt, why not do as the Egyptians do? And then the Roman lady like puts a color and say, unless you too become Rome. <laughs> unless you too become Rome. Which, yeah, the Romans eventually did conquer Egypt. They were originally allies yeah. until Cleopatra and Mark Anthony got a little too big for their britches. Too greedy. Also, I learned something kind of interesting about Cleopatra. Uh, from what I understand, apparently she wasn't actually native to Egypt, but more... It's the era she may have been from Greece. Oh yeah, she was more uh, Greek. Oh, she yeah. was put because her dynasty came from one of the generals of Alexander yeah, the Great. Which is kind of neat. Which yeah. is kind of neat. Like, she said that she could... I don't really know about that, but it said that she was apparently a sparkling conversationalist. Wow, the pyramid still isn't done. Now it's done. There we it's go. It's finally done. Now they're shaping it. I think it's all made from limestone. Yeah. Yeah. I think all the pyramids are made from limestone. We still don't know what happened to her and Caesar's kid. I'm pretty sure he died. He's probably killed by Augustus or someone. Probably. But either the way. teacher once told me that when it came to like ancient, um, I guess teacher once told me that when it came to like ancient uh, buildings like this, they use yeah. very advanced uh, mathematics to be able to fit everything together. But I remember one of my friends is just like, well, that's the only technology they had at the time, and I'm like, sir, what? we have technology now, and a lot of our and a lot of our buildings are ass. And yet, yeah. these buildings have lasted for hundreds of years compared to the crap we have. Hundreds of thousands of years. Yes, and the buildings yeah. we have, if we not ev even if we make one simple mistake or not even that well, they break in like a year. And yeah. it's just like, yeah, no, I don't want to hear because that's the technology they had back then. They're all a lot smarter than us. That's kind of mm -hmm. sad. Yeah, it's very sad. Okay. And Thank we got so much technology now, we we should be able to freaking technology make better shit. True. Anyway, yeah, thank, thank you all yeah. so much, and we'll see you guys later. Well, love is lost. Tech. Come out. Comment down anyway. below if you would be Pharaoh. What? Anyway. Comment uh, down below if you would like to be Pharaoh. Uh, question. Comment down below if there's any specific god you like, and if it's the hippo, why? <laughs> why do you like this? Why why are you in the Because he looks chaos? cool. Damn it. I'm just kidding. I'll oh see you guys later. Have fun. Bye. Uh,